guys welcome to my channel so it's been a while but i am back and i'm going to show you guys how to make these huge bookmarks so um, i've been seeing on pinterest and instagram these people have these huge bookmarks in their bible and they're really pretty and really fluffy so i attempted to make one and i didn't do the best job at it i mean it's still pretty it's beautiful but um yeah the ribbons aren't tied securely and it's not as fluffy as i want it to be so i'm going to make a new one and i'm going to bring you guys along with me so if you want to grab your craft supplies and uh, follow me along we're going to make one of these together all right so what you will need is yarn whatever color you want and however much you want and um, different thicknesses would be better i really don't have different thicknesses of yarn i mean they're all like the standard size so grab a bunch of yarn and if you can find some lace we can put lace in there too i found these little bubbles at walmart so i've got some lace here we're gonna put that into our bookmark so as you can see i've already got this started yeah that's a lot so what i did was measure out 24 inches it could be longer or shorter depending on what you want so each strand here is 24 inches long you want to make them all basically the same length and the same with the lace because what we're going to do is eventually we're going to fold this in half so that's actually how long the bookmark is going to be if that makes sense so yeah if you want it longer then you want to make your length here longer so longer than 24 inches if you want it shorter make it shorter but yeah i think this is going to be the right length and i also have 34 of these strings cut you can do more or less usually what i see people have at least 30 to 35 different pieces of yarn and normally they have different thicknesses of yarn too this is all i have is this thinness so we are going to do this and work with it so like i said you want to take your string and you want to measure out 24 inches so what i do is after i get all these cut and i have them tied together here just to keep everything in order just measure it up to the length of what you have unless you're really a stickler and you can get out a ruler but I'm not about that life so get it around 24 inches and then cut it so now we have 35 strings guys so I untied the end of this so that way all of my little strings are free so what we are going to do is keep them all together now and ooh, they're coming apart here keep them all together and you are going to take this and you're going to fold it in half down the middle so right down the middle, fold it in half. I just kind of write my fingers through it, make sure everything is even. It looks like that one has kind of gone astray here. So we want this to be even. Just gonna make sure that it is pretty even. And like I said, you don't have to have it perfect because you are going to end up cutting the ends of it to get them straight. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Once you have it folded in half, just make sure it's together. We're gonna take some more yarn, whatever color you want. I, I can choose purple or I can choose pink here. I think I'm gonna choose the pink one. You still have this in half. What you wanna do is take whatever yarn you want. So I'm choosing this hot pink yarn. And I am going in between here. try to keep that in half you're gonna make this pretty long for the time being so you see this got a loop in the top got all of this hanging down at the bottom like a tassel okay so like I said keep this pretty long at the top but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to tie a knot here in the top of this because we want this to stay together and we've already got it in half and you don't want to lose that. So, let's loop this through. We're gonna tie a knot here. I need to grow like another extra arm or two so that way I can do things. I feel like I can always use an extra arm. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's just kind of like, I don't even know, it doesn't quite look like a tassel yet. So you do want to keep this kind of long right now because what we're going to do is grab our Bible. Now everybody's Bible, like the length will be different of the pages, but let me show you the idea that we're going for here. All right, I hope you guys can see this. So this is the tassel that I made before. And if you can see, 
I've got it to where it will loop over the pages so that way the bookmark will stay in place. So if you look at it, we kept two separate strings here, two separate pieces of yarn, and we measured it to whatever length the pages is. So that's the same thing we want to do with this pink yarn. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get another page that's not got so much going on. And then we're going to take this string and we're gonna feed it through the pages to see what kind of a length that we want. All right, does that, can you see this guys? So there's my tassel at the bottom. This is about how long that I want my page to be. Now I'm gonna extend it just a little further because you want to have some kind of string to work with. So I'm gonna snip this off here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to put a bead here to try to keep this knot down. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. So I have a couple of options here with beads. I have this really pretty little purple sparkly bead and then I have just like a metallic bead. Um, it would be so much easier if you could find the wooden beads that have the bigger little hole in them, but I don't have any. This is what I had on hand. So we are going to work with what we got. What we want to do is thread both of these pieces of yarn through this so this way this bead sits at the top of the tassel. Now I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to be a tedious thing that, um, yeah, I haven't found a good way to do this. If you have a needle, I guess you could thread it through, but I don't have a needle that is, the eye is not big enough for the yarn to go through and the one I have that it's big enough to go through will not fit through the bead. So that's, this would be the hardest part, but let me, let me fast forward this. All right, so I finally got this little buddy threaded through, so you want to push it down pretty tightly on there to where it's pushing on top of the knot and then you want to take this string and make another knot so that way you're securing this bead into place now i'm actually going to use a needle this is just a, a what do you call this a knitting needle no not a knitting needle a yarn needle a yarn needle that's what we're going to go with i'm going to try to push it further down onto the top of this bead to where it will stay put yeah there we go all right so we have it secured we have the bead secured at the top here so what we're going to do now is make sure oh yeah that's how i got it threaded i made a little aglet on the top of it so we're going to measure this back onto our bible and see how far that I need to fix this to where it's not, we don't want a lot of leftover yarn. We just want a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread the next bead wherever he went right here. We're gonna take the next bead and thread it onto the top of here, wherever we want it. And then we're gonna secure the end with a knot. All right, like I said, that is the hardest thing to do is to get these beads on the end. So if you guys have any tips or any suggestions of how to bead like put beads on yarn please tell me because your girl don't know <laughs> so i've got the bead on here now so what i said to do is we're going to make sure it fits which it does we've already established that but yeah so i wanted to show you how this is going to work though. so we're going to put a knot on the end over here so that way the bead doesn't come out and then we can slide it down and it will stay in place so that way it won't it, it will mark where our Bible is and it will keep its spot. So let's go ahead and tie a knot on the end of this to keep the bead into place. Okay, I double knotted it so that way the bead is not going anywhere. So there we go. We have two beads on here. This one's stationary. This one can be moved up and down to wherever you want it. And that way it will mark your Bible and it will hold into place. So our next step is we're actually going to form this into a tassel. So this is a pretty easy part. The only thing that we need to do on this part is to get another piece of yarn, whatever color you want. Once again, um, I'm just going to use this leftover piece from wherever I cut the top of this and we're just going to wrap it. So you just choose wherever you want, somewhere around the top. 
You can make the little ball of the tassel as big or as small as you want. I think he's going to be about this big. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. At this point, he kind of looks like an octopus almost. If you wanted this to be fluffier, you could actually put some cotton in the top of it and it would fluff it up a little bit more. But I, I don't really care if it's that fluffy. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it without any cotton. But that's just a little tip. All right, once you have this wrapped wherever you want it, you want it kind of tight. So you are going to tie a knot. And before I finish off my knot, I found this at Hobby Lobby. And I thought it was just the cutest little thing. A little unicorn, you cannot beat a unicorn. So I'm going to take him off of here and we're just gonna put him at the top as like a little decoration on my tassel. So once again, I'm trying to thread this through here. It would almost be easier just to take some pliers and just attach the little jump ring because um, the yarn is so hard to thread. Okay, once you get the unicorn on there, just tie it up. Make sure it is tightly on there so he is not going anywhere. So I'm going to probably double knot it, and if I can even triple knot it, I would. We'll see if we can once we get there. All right, I can't really triple knot it because um. I can't get my fingers in there to triple knot it. Oh, I'm trying. But if it doesn't happen, I think it's pretty secure anyway. It feels to me like it is. So we want to take these little ends that you have. Let the unicorn, once you get this good and tight, like make sure that it's tight. And you just want to clip those off right up to the knot. All right, so we have our unicorn. And there is our tassel. And I think it looks pretty cute. Oh, he's so cute. And everything ties together and matches. How cute is that? Right, so let me put it on my page over here and show you guys what the final result is. All right, so there is the final result. I think it's pretty cute. So you can leave the tassel on the bottom here or you can actually put it on the top. It doesn't matter which way it hangs on the Bible. But um, since I put mine in the bookshelf, this will be hanging off the bottom, which it's, yeah, it's, it's not gonna work on the bookshelf. So I am going to actually flip this around to where it is hanging off the top and not the bottom. Okay, I flipped it around so that way it's going to hang off the top of my Bible instead of the bottom. But there it is, look how cute. So adorable, so girly. I love the unicorn. I can't believe this was on clearance. It looks perfect with this. And yeah, so I hope you guys try this out. If you do, let me know, tag me. Oh, by the way, before I cut out of here, I was gonna let you guys see, Hobby Lobby actually sells groups of these ribbons in different colors. So I got this neutral one yesterday and I think it's really pretty. I love the neutral colors and I think it, it actually would look perfect with this Bible because of the tan colors on the top of it and like the um, like the brown tones on it. It would look perfect with that, but of course, you know, I've kind of um, rainbowed it out here. So yeah, um, but yeah, $3.99 and you can get all of your ribbons at Hobby Lobby. Just saying, just putting it out there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, if you like it, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, tag me if you guys make this. Tag me on um, Instagram. I'm DanielleAlyssa86 on there. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. God bless. See y'all later. Bye.